Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sturge here, here back on channel 11, and today we're going to be doing a bunch of attacks using the Mass Electro Dragon attack strategy. I haven't used these in a very long time, so I'm going to be using them in today's video. And the reason for that is because of the new event inside the event tab. All the troops in the game, even the spells and the siege machines, are 99% off. So this army is basically free. I think it costs around 3,000, yeah, 3,200 elixir and two dark elixir for the cost of this army. So we're gonna be using it in this video, getting a ton of loot so we can get the five builders and the laboratory going in today's video. And we're gonna start off today by heading over to the progress base to do a couple of upgrades before we head on to the attacks. We have the Electro Dragons at level one at the moment and we want to get them to level two. So we're gonna be doing a couple of lab upgrades for today's video. We're gonna do the first one right now by heading over to the leak shop purchasing the hammer of fighting we're also going to purchase a hammer of heroes we're going to be using in the later portion of this video and now we're going to head back to the laboratory and max out the electric dragons up to level two to use the hammer of fighting saving 7.2 million elixir in eight days of upgrade time here getting the electric dragons maxed out for channel 11 and this is the only real upgrade we're going to be doing for this beginning portion of the video we got to get a ton of every single type of loot gold elixir and dark elixir since we need around 140,000 to upgrade the queen and we have a book or a hammer of heroes we just purchased there so we're going to be getting the queen up to level 49 so the next episode we're going to be getting the queen up to max level which would be pretty cool but we're going to head out for an attack or two to start off today's video and then we'll do a couple of upgrades using the loot we get from the electric dragon attacks and to start off the day here we have this tunnel 11 with 600,000 of each and 6,000 dark elixir. We have this dead tunnel 11 since uh, the eagle and everything aren't on with the smoke coming out of the eagle there you can obviously see that it is a dead base. The heroes are at the top and I haven't used this army in a while so I know that the uh, air sweepers are pointed towards the left and the right and you obviously don't want to go straight towards the air sweepers. So it looks like we are going to go from I guess the bottom right of the base, we're going to start off by dropping one dragon towards the bottom and one towards the right side for a funnel. And then we'll head in towards the core of the base with the rest of these dragons. We're going to test for any seeking air mines, but it, there are, uh, it is a dead base, so it obviously won't be any in the uh, outside of the base here. We're going to drop the first raid spell and the second one for these Electro Dragons and drop in the Battle Blimp to head into the core of the base, making sure to continue and keep these Dragons Rage. We're going to drop the Warren ability right now, heading through towards the core of the base and we're going to drop the Battle Blimp on top of the Town Hall. Gonna use the Clank Castle Raid spell towards the top of the base. It frees on the air defense on the left side and one towards the top. We have the heroes, which we're going to drop on the right side and the poison spell for the heroes here to slow their attacks down so we can take them down pretty easily there. Going to drop the King's ability as he is getting kind of low in health. We already have basically the entire base taken out here. Electro Dragons are very, very good at Town Hall 11. So we're going to use them here for today's video, getting 600,000 of each from today's, uh, or this raid here. We're getting another, I think 130,000 from the loot bonus. So we're getting a ton of loot for this first raid here on this dead Town Hall 11. We're gonna head on to a few more attacks before doing any upgrades for today's video. We got another dead town all 11 with a huge amount of loot, almost a million elixir. We're gonna go from the bottom right for this one here, trying to take out the uh, uh, eagle. Even though it is down, I just wanna practice the army and take down the eagle as fast as possible with this army. So we're starting off with the clear, the, uh, the funnel with the electro dragons here. They are pretty separated, these buildings, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit for the funnel to get created, unless we could just go right now as the uh, drill is going down over there. We'll drop the balloons with the dragons and the warden. We have the race spells we're going to drop immediately here to speed these guys through into the base. We're going to now drop the blimp right there, head straight up towards the Eagle Artillery, going to drop the Warden ability now, and freezing, uh, actually we'll just drop another Raid spell in the core with a poison for the Queen to take her down there, dropping another Raid spell for these balloons here, 
to take down a bunch of these defenses towards the top of the base. We have a bunch of dragons and stuff working on the right, so on the left we're going to drop the heroes. We have the freeze we're going to use on the air defense at the top, and another raid spell with another freeze on the air defense to help these balloons take down that air defense there, and it is going to go down very good. We have a minute and 50 seconds left in the raid up to around 69% going to use the King's ability as he is getting low in health. We still have the Town Hall to go down, which will probably be the last thing to actually go down on this base. We still have the Queen with her ability up on the left side of the base, very good. The King in the core of the base is about to go down to one of our Electro Dragons. About to get almost a million Elixir from this raid, which is actually gonna help out the clan game challenge that I am doing at the moment. I think I need around 1.4 million Elixir to complete it. I think I only need around 400,000 to complete this one, and it looks like the Town Hall is the final building, like I said, to go down on this base to get the three star on this Town Hall 11 for over a million Elixir and almost 10,000 Dark Elixir. Continuing to find a bunch of these dead Town Hall 11s like this one here with another 750,000 of each. The air sweepers are pointed towards the left and the right. So we're going to go from the bottom left of the base, starting with the Electro Dragon right there, and another one right there. We'll head up towards the Warden right once the left Electro Dragon does a little bit of damage, and there we go. We'll drop the rest of the Dragons and the Warden with the Balloons to head into the base, dropping the Rage Spells. The Air Super is pushing those Dragons, but they're just going to go up to the top left, which is completely fine. We're going to actually probably save our Electro or our Clank Castle for another attack since we don't really need to use it because it is a dead Town Hall 11. Going to drop the Poison Spell in the core of the base and actually, actually the Dragon took down the Queen very quickly there. We're going to drop the King and the Queen on their right to help out the rest of the Dragons and that Warden. We still have a Raid Spell which we'll use right there and we're demolishing this entire base still have two free spells we'll just use to freeze that king and we have the warden ability all three hero abilities still up we'll just use them all just to get them out of the way and speed these guys through the base around a minute just over a minute through the raid and almost uh completing this raid in under one a minute which would have been pretty cool using the slow electro dragons but getting another three star on a dead tunnel 11 for 800,000 of each and 9,000 Dark Elixir once again. And after the hour boost I did using the Mass Electro Dragons, we have full gold and elixir and almost enough Dark Elixir to upgrade the Archer Queen up to level 48. But we obviously have some of the loot inside of the treasury from the star bonus. So we have 4,000, which is enough to upgrade the Queen. So we're going to get that eventually here. But we're gonna start off with a couple of upgrades before we upgrade the heroes down at the bottom of the base, finishing the last two storages up to the max level. So we have the max capacity for gold and elixir. We'll upgrade the first one here, 1.2 million gold in a two day time, and the same one for the gold storage there. So we now have around 8 million of each left on the base to spend. And we are actually gonna upgrade our first defense on the base which is the air defense. We obviously upgraded the Eagle Artillery a while back using a hammer or a book of building. I'm not too sure what we use on that, but we are gonna upgrade the first air defense up to max level, up to level nine, 5.6 million gold in a week time for this upgrade here. We'll move that over to the max side as it is maxed out for tunnel 11. We still have 2.5 million, but if we actually head over to the treasury here, we can actually collect all that. And now we have 3.6, which we're actually going to upgrade a bunch more of our walls up to the max level, about two there. I think I actually upgraded a couple more off camera since I did actually max out the uh, storages from the farming raids. We've got a ton of loot today from the Mass of the Dragons, which I'll probably use until the event is over in around 10 days. We have two builders left and we're gonna be upgrading two more of these heroes up to their next level and also getting something going inside of the laboratory which is the balloons up to level seven. Six million elixir and a six day time getting that going down there, very good. We have a 3.4 but I'm pretty sure we have some sort of loot 
in terms of elixir in the season pass and we don't so i'm not too sure what we should do i think i might head over to the leak shop here and purchase 2.5 million there and then we can upgrade the warden up to the next level which is actually level 10 unlocking the second level of the ability 4.8 million elixir and a three day time getting that letting that go for the entirety of that upgrade and the final two upgrades for the day is on the archer queen and if we actually head over to the season pass here we unlocked the <laughs> month skin for this month's season pass which is the golem king we're gonna actually unlock that here and select it there and there we go pretty cool skin in my opinion we're gonna upgrade the queen up to level 48 140,000 dark elixir in a five day time but we have a book of heroes we got from the season pass just now so we're going to use it on the queen and use the hammer of heroes we got at the beginning of the video on the queen to get her up to level 49 skipping the 148,000 dark elixir cost and the five days for this upgrade here and one more level left until the queen is maxed out for time 11 which we will do in the next episode we have no more loot on the base and we have one builder actually which i didn't actually realize we had uh but why don't we actually head over to the uh storage is here and actually use a rune of elixir getting a bunch of these walls and actually plan to have an extra builder but we do so we're going to use a couple of the elixir on the walls and head down to the dark barracks here and upgrade this dark barrack up to level eight and I actually expect to have this upgrade going today but we're obviously doing it so 3.2 million elixir and a week time for this one here maxing out our first dark barrack and moving that over to the max side of the base a ton of upgrades and a ton of farming raids done in today's video but that is going to do it hopefully you enjoyed today's video and if you did and want to see some more tunnel 11 content on the channel make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one peace out